Hi everyone, and welcome to Miss Gleason's online art elementary classroom. So, because my elementary class is not able to meet in person anymore, I figured this would be the best way for me to reach everybody is by creating a YouTube video, because I know all my kids know how to watch YouTube. Um, we're going to be doing just a few lessons a week, and I'm going to be posting them on here. Um, I'm going to do some how to draw videos, and I'm going to do some art history lessons. And I've even talked to a couple of different artists who said that they would be happy to come in and be a guest speaker about the type of artwork that they do. So I'm really excited about that as well. So today we're going to start with just a very basic how to draw video. And we're going to learn how to draw this truck using the basic lines that you should already know from class. So all our basic lines that we already know and basic coloring and shading. Now I'm going to walk you through the drawing part of it. But I'm going to leave some of the coloring and shading up to you because I want to see what you're able to create. So don't forget to follow along and subscribe so that you can come back and find my channel again for the next lesson. Remember, you can do one lesson a week or you can do all the lessons every week. And that is completely up to you. The more the merrier. I would love for you all to do every lesson I do. Um, but let's get started. You all ready Hi. to get started? The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure our paper is vertical. So because the car is tall, we're going to make our paper vertical this time. So remember vertical is up and down, horizontal is side to side. So we want to make sure our paper is vertical. Then using a pencil, and we always, always, always draw with pencil first, mainly so you can erase, but also, you know, pencil is, you can draw lighter with pencil and you can get some detail with pencil that you can't necessarily do with crayon or marker or anything else. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a wavy line. I know we've remember, I hope y'all remember all the different lines we've learned. So I wanna draw my wavy line. Can y'all see that? All right. Then in that wavy line, I'm gonna draw a circle on one side and a circle on the other. Those are the headlights for the car. So again, using our basic lines and shapes, we're going to draw a picture. And if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video until you are caught up. Right. Once you've drawn your wavy line and your circles, the next thing is down here at the bottom of the wavy line. Remember a rectangle is a long, has two long sides and two short sides? We're gonna draw a long skinny rectangle from one side of the wavy line to the other. That's the bumper of the car. Now, right under the circles, we're gonna draw a square on the bottom of that bumper. It's going to look like a square, but it's really the wheels of the car when you're looking at it straight on. That's kind of what it looks like. All right, so far so good. Everyone following along? All right, remember you can post comments and questions on the um, Canvas site. So if you have any questions or trouble following along, let me know and I will try to adjust the next le lesson um, accordingly. Now, we're going to draw right here in the middle, this is an old car. So my dad used to have one of these. It's an old BM, it's an old Volkswagen Beetle. So you're gonna draw the hood of the car right here. Then, not at the very outside, but kind of in the middle, on the far side of the middle of the curve, we're gonna draw, it's a rounded curve, but it's gonna be straight on the side, it's gonna round across the top and come back down straight on this side. Do y'all see that? There we go. Everyone got it? Okay, now the next step is we have to draw the windshield. Now, again, using basic lines, I'm gonna draw a curved line right here. And then I'm gonna just follow the shape of the top of the car that I already drew following it down and around. There you go, you have your windshield. You can add using two little dash lines and then drawing a square. You can add your review mirrors. Now, some of the older cars, they didn't have the review mirrors that hung in the front. So we're just gonna draw the ones on the side here. There you go. Now you've done your car, good job. Now let's make it part of a picture. We don't just want the car sitting there in the middle. Because even though it's cool, that's not going to complete the picture. We want a completed picture. I'm going to draw 
those little white dashed lines for the middle of the road, I'm gonna draw those right there under my car. Can y'all do that? Good job. Now, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line from the bumper to the edge of the page. Remember, a diagonal line goes at an angle. So I'm gonna draw another diagonal line from the bumper to the edge of the page. On this side, we're making the sides of the road. So I can draw another one like that and like that to create the edges of the road so that we know our car is in its lane. Now, let's see, y'all doing all right? We got everything? We're gonna draw a horizon line. A horizon line is the line that separates the ground from the sky in the back of a picture. So when I say we're gonna draw on the back, in the background, I don't mean on the back of the page. I mean back here behind the car. So this line, the horizon line, I'm gonna start it right about there and it's gonna go straight back, straight from there to the edge of the page. Then on the same, kind of in the same space, I'm gonna draw a horizon line here as well. There you go. You got your horizon line so it looks like the car is driving forward straight at you. Um, now, I'm gonna draw mountains in my background. Now remember, mountains are triangles. For our basic shapes, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a basic shape like a triangle. And I'm gonna draw some mountains. Now the mountains are behind my car. Are we gonna see the whole mountain? No, we're not. So I draw a triangle shape up and down until it hits the car. And then I draw another triangle shape up and down. And another one. You can add as many mountains as you want, or you can keep it as simple as you want. Maybe I'll add another one here. Just some mountains in the background. Now, for my K through K through second grade, y'all have done everything I've asked you to do here. Now it is time for you to color it. And remember, you color inside the lines. Inside the lines. And I would keep I would keep the headlights one color different from the rest of the car so that they stand out. Same as the background. If your car is purple, please don't color purple mountains. We won't be able to see them. So use different colors. Think about the colors that you have and use different colors. Now, for my third through fifth grade, before we color, I want to talk to you a little bit about highlights and shadows and adding shading to this. I know we haven't worked much on shading yet. Some of my upper grade levels you have, but we're gonna add a little bit of shadow to this picture to make it a little bit more advanced. And can go on through second grade, if you feel confident enough to try and add shadow, you are welcome to do this along with us. All right, so I'm gonna start thinking about where the shadows would be. If my car is driving down the road, the darkest shadow would be underneath the car. So when we're drawing shadow, again, we're using our pencil. You're not gonna press down straight. You're not gonna go straight down with the pencil. You're gonna turn your pencil sideways and use the side of the leg. And I'm just gonna start drawing a little bit of shadow under my car, side to side like this. Adding a little bit of shadow under the car. Now, we've talked about value very briefly. We were planning on doing that this spring, but value goes from light to dark and from dark to light. So if it's really dark under my car, as it comes out farther, it's gonna get lighter and lighter. Now under the tires is also gonna be a shadow. And I'm gonna make it really dark under the tires. Really dark under the tires and under the car is going to be darker. Now you can add shadow with color. So if my road is going to be black or gray, this is a perfect example, you could just color darker on the areas where it needs to be dark and then lighter with the crayon on the areas that needs to be lighter. Do you see how much lighter I'm coloring the road on the outside from out from under the car? But under the car is gonna be a lot darker. 
And it's okay if you color over the white lines on the road. You could always go back and erase it or keep it in shadow as well. Now that's going to make it look much more realistic. Remember, realistic means it looks real, looks um, like you could really imagine it being there than just drawing it like a cartoon. So the shadows make a really big difference. Can y'all see that? Okay. So then you would think about where the shadows would be everywhere else. Again, let's imagine it's still daylight and the light is shining down on the top of the car. If the light is shining down on the top of the car, under the bumpers here would also be in shadow. But I'm gonna draw my lines going in a different direction there so that my tires don't get confused for the road. So I would create that shadow. And then I'm gonna shade in my tires, kind of like the treads of a tire going this way. And you can outline it darker if you need to. And you can make your tires darker. If you think your tires need to be darker than the road, which most of the time they would be, you could go in and shade your tires darker. Okay, now I'm not gonna walk you through the whole thing step by step because I want to see what you're able to do. But this is my example for you. So your job is to finish this drawing. And when you finish it, I'm posting this onto the assignment page um, on Canvas. When you finish this, I want you to post your completed picture onto the discussion for this week. So it's gonna have lots of different posts on there. Just post and say this is for the how to draw picture for the week and I will have one discussion up, one discussion page up a week that you can add to. So think about how you're shading, thinking about where your shadows would be. You could shade with color. If you want to color it with crayon or colored pencil or marker, marker is hard to shade with, but think about what you're using. And if you want to add shadow to it, please do so. And even my little ones, if you feel like you can, add shadow. You can add detail. Maybe I want to draw the steering wheel in here. If I draw the steering wheel, I got to draw someone driving. So you decide whether or not you want to try and do that. Maybe I draw a bench for the seat back here. Or it could be a parked car. It doesn't have to be driving. Maybe I'm not going to draw a person. Maybe my car is just parked on the side of the road. So you make your decision. You draw your picture. Add as much detail as you would like. You can add trees, you can add grass on the sides. Of course, you're gonna see grass close up, but are you gonna see grass way back here? No, you're not, but you could see bushes or trees back here. But the grass is only gonna show up right up close to the road. And again, I'm just drawing with pencil today, but you are welcome to use any of the materials you have at home to complete this picture. All right, thank you so much, and I hope y'all have fun drawing along. Have a good one.